Hello everybody, welcome to Jada Live in the kitchen. How are you doing? 2 p.m. here. For the one of you, I was already talking to the people on Instagram because I start always a little bit earlier on Instagram. They don't get to see the leader. They don't get to see much uh, things that you're going to get to see, but they are there. They are in that kind of uh, social platform. So I was already talking to them. So how are you doing? 2 p.m. actually 2 or 5 here in Las Vegas. Giada Valenti, singer and songwriter from Venice, Italy, born and raised there. But now I live in sunny Vegas. Sun is shining like every day. We have been doing Jada Live, if you're new for the first time watching, I've been doing this Jada Live, started with a simple along March 18, then we did it eight days straight, every day at 2 p.m., and now since uh, two months actually, we're going live three times a week, on Tuesday, on Thursday, on Saturday, and on Sunday, JJ show in the cart. That's yes, Tuesday we do celebrity interview, Thursday I do Italian culture and lifestyle together with my dear friends of Italian Living, um, Richard Micheli, always a joy to welcome all the people watching from there. And on Saturday, we are in the kitchen where I cook. So I am a singer and songwriter, but I do love to cook delicious recipe every Saturday. So 
Today, uh, actually, I want to welcome everybody. I see a lot of you appearing from the East Coast as well, which is 5 p.m. I see people even appearing, as always, from Australia, from all over the globe. And if you're new, please let me know where are you watching this uh, Jada Live today is from. And I hope you're doing well. And tell me if you are in a funny part of the world, what time is it your place right now? So, guys, today I am very excited. I'm cooking something uh, delicious. We talked last Thursday at the episode dedicated to the Italian cultures and uh, together with Italian living. I took you to Sicily. We, if you wanna, uh, if you have missed the episode and you wanna watch that episode, I took you to the. Uh, uh, Aeolian islands of Sicily. So Sicily is an island, but there are some amazing archipelagos all around uh, um, uh, Sicily. And I took you to uh, Aeolian one, which is where the most popular, but a little by little, I'm gonna take you to all the other one. There are, I think, five of them. They call the jewels of the Mediterranean. And while we were in Sicily, of course, we talk also about food. And I said, let me cook something Sicilian. And the one I'm making today, it's probably one of the most famous uh, recipe from uh, Sicily. There are many, actually, but this is one of the most famous street food of Sicily and uh, something I love to have every time uh, when I'm in Sicily. And I made it today for the first time. Here they are, the uh, rice arancini, the arancini di riso, as you can see them. They are delicious, very messy to make. So we are going to make today, today actually arancini. Um, arancini made they are basically a raised bowl and they are from Sicily they are delicious of course and little very messy to make I've never made them before I always have them at the restaurants I made them today for the first time I tried them yesterday when I made it they're very delicious they taste good but the kitchen was a disaster so wish me luck today is gonna be like a disastrous kind of uh, things but before um, of course what want I say I want to say that uh, um, what do I want to say? I want to say that next Tuesday, next week actually, starting, uh, I'm going to have one week vacation. It's not actually a vacation. I'm going to talk more at the end. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I got a performance. Uh, uh, I don't know, many of you know, the people that know me, that uh, I'm related. I have a good connection with Kentucky and the Kentucky Derby. A couple of months before COVID-19 happened, I had this performance in Kentucky and I was invited to sing at the Kentucky Derby. Of course, COVID-19 happened, so the Kentucky Derby is not happening in the form and shape that we all know, but it's happening next Saturday. So I've been invited to go anyway to Kentucky to perform of course my whole Kentucky home and run for the roses and a few more songs next Saturday so I'm taking one week vacation to prepare for the things I have to travel I have to prepare so many things so next week is not going to be John alive for one week about the uh, Sunday love song you know on Sunday we do love songs on my patreon page uh, since I will be traveling back from Kentucky next Sunday, so I'm going to move uh, the, the Love Song Sunday on Monday, which is going to be, it's a vacation here in America. It's um, Labor Day, JJ? Yeah. It's Labor Day. Yeah, I always confuse Labor Day with some other holiday. So Labor Day on Monday, for the one of you that want to have like a, an hour of love songs and music, are going to be next week, Monday. Of course, first, we're going to have our Jada Love Songs tomorrow and we will be talking more about uh, my Kentucky experience and how much I love the Kentucky things and the Kentucky music, the Kentucky people, uh, Congressman Hal Rogers, I sang for him in his house, Congressman of Kentucky over there, an amazing gentleman. So I'm very excited and I will be wearing a hat, which I, 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 I don't have one yet. So I will be find, trying to find a Kentucky Derby hat. First, I need to find an outfit. Without further ado, guys, today we are cooking, and we were talking also Thursday about the cocktails that how we make. There were three cocktails. I um, I didn't. We had some computer problem on Thursday, by the way, so we didn't post the card. So I decided myself which cocktail I want to make, since I am the only one drinking it. But I will post all the picture of the other one on my Patreon page, so you guys can see. The other option and if you want to make another cocktails you can do it so today i decided to make something with of course the delicious wine that we always use the prosecco from bosco del merlo that is actually they make it where i was born and raised in venice italy so i find a cocktails a delicious cocktail that we can make with prosecco i think it's delicious it's here i already made one for myself i'm gonna taste it in a second and it's called sbagliato which i find is very funny it means 
uh, wrong, mistake, it's a mistake. Because originally the ingredients uh, of this one, you made it with gin and, and they call it the Negroni, but if you make it with Prosecco, it's more or less the same ingredients, the alcoholic part, but you do it with Prosecco and they call it a mistake. They made it actually once by mistake, in a, a barman made it and it, it tasted delicious so they decided hey let's keep it we call it sbagliato which means wrong mistaken and uh, here it's uh, let me take a picture because you know I don't know nothing about one so I have to read and JJ will show you the the, the recipe it's called sbagliato we need to, it needs only five minutes to make it still JJ can find a picture oh boy um, but anyway it uh, it's made uh, with four parts of Prosecco and uh, uh, one part of sweet vermouth, which is here, actually, it's a martini rosso, if you call it in Italy, and one part of Campari. You know me, I'm not drinking much, so look what a fantastic big bottle of Campari I found on Total Wine, the biggest I could find, actually, the smallest guy. But um, so, and I'm gonna make it in a second. Of course, I made one for myself, and I'm gonna have a chin chin with JJ. So sbagliato is made it with this, so with Prosecco, I already opened a bottle last week. And by the way, do you know, if you open a, a bubbling wine and you don't want him to lose the bubbles, this one I already knew, uh, let me change it, this I already knew, you just, when you open the bottle, don't put back the, the, the things, just, you take a spoon, a little spoon, you put it in like this, and you refrigerate it, you can keep it. This is actually, it's been open a week ago. Do you remember when we made the recipe? And you will see in a second, it's still very uh, sparkling. So I've learned this one actually. I knew already, even if I don't drink, I, I saw my family, uh, my father doing this. So here we go. I, so I would do first the other ones in it. Which one? The, the two other liquors. Oh, JJ said to start the other liquor. I mean, JJ is drinking more than me. So here's what I say, let me read. He says, so uh, one part of sweet vermouth, which is this, the Martini, uh, Bian the Martini Rosso, Rossi. It's an Italian brand, it's very popular, guys. And they have, actually, I saw yesterday when I went to buy this one, they have uh, the white, they have the red, and they have the extra dry. And when I asked the guy what was the drift from this, you know, because I don't know nothing, the guy of Total Wine, he said, what do you mean? I said, I don't know. I said, I know what means dry when you talk, you talk about hair. Las Vegas have dry hair. And, uh, and there is no humidity. I said, but what does it mean when it's dry in an alcohol? There is no humidity in it. So he, he was like, he looked at me like, huh. And then he explained to me that actually dry means that it's uh, less, uh, less uh, sweet, right? So it's uh, extra dry means it's not sweet. When he, he, the red one was the sweetest. So I took this one because I thought sweet is better. So by the way, I've learned something. Dry, no sweet. He's more flavoring. He was explaining. He was like confused himself. Anyway, so one part of sweet vermouth. So, JJ, this is for you. Is this enough? More, more, more. One finger. So, this is one finger, more or less, of vermouth. And you smell kind of delicious, guys. So, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't drink any kind of thing. I know my mom is always watching. She's like, are you drinking? She said, no. And then they say one part of Campari. So, basically, another finger of Campari. And there is a lot of alcohol in Campari too, right, JJ? I can put almost the whole bottle. Look, I have a little bit left for the next recipe. And then four parts of Prosecco. Remember the spoon and you're, look, you're gonna see us still much bubbling are inside my thing. So four will be actually, let's see, one finger, two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. I would say like that. So I put my spoon inside my Prosecco. Now you need to have a little bit, they say also you can, uh, is, uh, you know, if you want, you can put some um, orange zest. So I didn't uh, want it to grate my orange, but I wash it uh, daily and I put it like this. So yours has uh, apparently has a different color than mine. So JJ, I give you the one Probably mine has less uh, uh, less alcohol in it, so I'm gonna this give give this one to JJ, and we're gonna have a chin chick with this drink that is called sbagliato, which means wrong, mistaken. It's actually very good so far. All the cocktails that I made for a person that does not drink anything is good, and of course the prosecco. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good one, and remember that if you want, you can drink the prosecco also by himself, and. 
There are also some recipe that I want to make in the next couple of weeks with Prosecco because you know you can cook with wine and there are a few actually uh, risotto and stuff that you can make with Prosecco so stay tuned we are going to make uh, some stuff also with Prosecco in the next couple of weeks. Without further ado I think we have out of drink that will be zipping here and there we're gonna make what I told you before we go to Sicily we are flying there and we are gonna make some of the most um, famous street food of Sicily when you are in Sicily you see them every everywhere they call it arancini siciliani so they're basically sicilian rice bowl jj is gonna uh, show you the pictures and the ingredients actually as all the italian recipe no many ingredients jj is gonna show you a cart with the ingredients this is what you need actually for uh, the arancini you need rice of course you need uh, some butter you need some parmesan cheese and then to make the sauce that you see inside you, you need uh, onions just to make the ragu and then uh, olive oil, of course, uh, then you need tomato sauce, you need uh, white wine and salt of your choice, a piece, very important, and a small mozzarella, as you see there in the middle of the arancini, and then you need to, to, uh, to put the, the stuff outside because you're, we're gonna fry them, and so it's flowers, we need some uh, water, of course, we're gonna make something with water, and some breadcrumbs, and uh, only a few, I mean, as I said, as I said, here yeah, I have all the ingredients. It looks like there are a lot of ingredients because basically we are making three things. We are cooking the rice, then we are making the ingredients uh, for the rice, and then we are gonna fry them. This is why I have my uh, fried, and I like to fry with, uh, with this kind of oil. Don't fry it with olive oil, it's a waste of your whole uh, Sunflower oil, oil is one of my favorite. In Italy we have olio di semi, which is a seed uh, a kind of oil. It's, like this one is light and still has some, some good vitamins inside. Of course, we're not allowed to fry many food. It's not very good for us. But once in a while, I thought, why not? And uh, just make uh, two of those rice bowls. So the ingredients actually for people that cannot hear. So the recipe of today, it's uh, an Italian Sicilian uh, rice bowl. So the rice bowl. And you made it with rice. You need some cherry tomatoes, there they are. You need some peas, green peas, frozen, but if they're frozen, make sure that you defrost them. So then you need some uh, mozzarella and Parmesan cheese, what else? You need some flowers and you need some uh, breadcrumbs, that's it. And you need some water, of course, because I'm gonna make some, like a little things that, uh, sauce that you gonna dip your, um, um, rice bowl in as i said was one of the most messy recipe i made so i made uh, actually this morning a little video for you because i prepare in advance a few of the ingredients so let me show you first it's very easy you're gonna cook your rice make sure that you have arborio rice because it's gonna stick better than all the others so don't use the the noma american white rice the one that you made you know for other recipe arborio of uh, it's one of the best so you cook your rice jj can start a little video that i made this morning you just boil your water when the water is boiling you put your salt inside and you add uh, uh, your rice that you have, uh, depending on many people. Remember, one small, uh, one cup and a half is for one person. Then uh, you uh, cook it. Uh, I think uh, mine cooks in ten minutes. So, and you drain your rice, and you're gonna put when it's still warm inside your butter, a piece of butter, and some grated Parmesan cheese. You're gonna um, stir all together, just like I'm doing. You mix it all together when it's still warm and you put it outside to uh, to get a little bit, uh, yes, to be cold. You have to let it cool uh, on, on a big plate. I like to do it in a plate like that so it can cool off uh, easily. So that's it. So how you make your rice because they are rice bowl. Here comes the rice bowl. And um, we are trying to get back. You remember, we have all this trouble with this computer. It's not JJ, it's the computer. But we have everything under control. So that's how you make your rice. And basically I made it. And another ingredient that you need is the sauce that you're gonna make inside the arancini. And since it's, uh, that takes you like 20 minutes to go to because basically it's like a sauce, but you have to make it very dry. So not very liquid, otherwise it's gonna be difficult to, to pour it uh, in uh, your, um, your arancini, in your rice bowl. And so this is how your make, you make uh, your, um, your sauce. Of course, you, uh, JJ can start it. Next video, when you find it, you cut an onion, so I would say half onion in pieces, like that. 
and then of course you are gonna um, saute it with a little bit of olive oil here it is you put some olive oil in a non stick uh, um, things and you cook it then you put it there look at what a nice video I made this morning for you right while I was having breakfast so you sauteed your onions it will take like you know the normal five minutes I'm sure you guys uh, are our expert so you had your spices I, of course I always add the peperoncino but uh, you can put uh, oregano you can put basilicum of your choice uh, I think in the Sicilian one they put a lot of but uh, I, I didn't have it yet. Then you cut the cherry tomatoes in small pieces. The sweetest the tomatoes, the better it is. And you uh, saute it in your, uh, with your onions. Uh, you add some white wine, uh, like when you make your sauce. And actually I use the Pinot Grigio because uh, it was the only white wine I had, but actually they, they tasted good. So you let it cook. It will take like a few minutes, I would say. And then you had your uh, green peas. Make sure that they are, uh, uh, if they are frozen, that you defrost them first. Otherwise, it takes you longer to cook. I do everything in 20 minutes. Then you had uh, some uh, um, tomato sauce. Make sure that there is nothing in your tomato sauce. Uh, guys, if you want, you can add garlic. Me, I just have uh, this uh, salt that has some garlic in. You remember my favorite one from uh, Trader Joe? I put that uh, bagel things in everything. You put it there, you uh, stir it around, and you let it dry a little bit. Sorry, I was, the, the video uh, stopped brutally. But anyway, you let it dry until it became a little bit... Can you see this one? It's very... I mean, it's like... A, you can almost eat it with a spoon, so it doesn't have to be liquid. Otherwise, it's going to make your uh, rice bowl difficult to stick to each other. So this is basically what you... You cook your rice, you make your sauce, and then you're ready to make your bowls. Since it's a lot of work to do, this is what we're making, arancini, arancini siciliani, so a, a Sicilian a rice bowl. This is what we are making. So it's a lot of work to do. I work ahead. I already made five. I wanted to make six, so you understand the thrill. The sixth one I will be making together with you. So you, um, to make them like this and to have the, the, the breadcrumbs to stick, you see how, how nice uh, uh, on, the, on the thing, that's the secret I've been told. You need to create what they called in Sicily a pastella. I don't even know how to translate it into, uh, in English. It's like a cream that you have to make. And it's very easy. It's made with flowers. So just put, I will say, two spoons of flour. I only, I'm going to make only one, so I think one spoon just like this is going to be enough and you take some water not cold but you know warm not hot just in between something that you put your finger is still is pleasant and and you create like um, you will see it has to be kind of a liquid kind of things so like this this actually needs a little I sh i'm going to put you up for you so you're going to see and if you made a mistake that you put uh, too much water you had a little more flour you know you are all expert I mean, this is, for instance, needs a little bit more flour. It's something in between. I'll show you the consistency in a second. So, Because now I'm not making it for... This is the good one. So that is kind of, you see, it sticks a little bit. So it's liquid, but uh, it's uh, not dense. It's something in between. So something like this. So that's your pastella, as they call it in Sicily. And you had here your breadcrumbs. I would say I put my uh, breadcrumbs uh, in here. So, guys, this is the something. So, there are different ways to, uh, uh, to make the things. You can actually put, uh, create a, a bread of rice like this and then put the, t the tomato sauce, your things in between and your mozzarella in between and roll your bowl. For me, I, uh, I've seen people doing in my family, actually, the, my father's side, uh, uh, friends that were Sicilian. I'm going to put the sauce and the... I told you it's kind of messy for your hands. I'm gonna put the rice that is cold. You remember I put inside some butter and Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna smash all these things together like this. Mix it all together. I hope you can see. I like to add some extra Parmesan cheese because when it's gonna be fried, the Parmesan is gonna make your little rice bowl delicious. So here we go. You pour them all together. And by the way, two nights ago, I had a dinner with uh, Diane Fiorentino that she teach me uh, sign language and Sal. And they had actually 
uh, they didn't make them, but they brought home from Trattoria Italia here in Las Vegas. They are Sicilian, they are friends of mine. They went there and they bought some arancini. That's why I got the idea. I was looking for something Sicilian. And first I wanted to make the panelle, then I wanted to make uh, maybe pasta la norma with, uh, with, the, with, the, with the aubergine, uh, the melanzana. And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna make the arancini. Never know that is kind of messy. So, what JJ? Here what we are making, the arancini, JJ keeps on, we are making these uh, Sicilian delicatess arancini di riso, which are basically just rice bowl, but then the Sicilian way. So here we go, guys, if you come back to me, here we are, oh, JJ was already back to me. Let me take a plate from here. So, this is where the messy part starts. This is how you make your arancini. Yeah, you have to get dirty sometimes to have good stuff. So. So here we go. So you put your hands in your uh, rice with the sauce and you start to squeeze them badly like uh, and you make a bowl, you know, you make a bowl out of it. Make sure that your sauce, as I said, is, is dense, it is not liquid, otherwise this is where you're gonna get in trouble. So you can make it wherever size you want. Actually in Sicily, they make it like a cone. So it's round here and with a, with a point. Me, I decided to make it, uh, they're rice bowl after all, so I'm making the bowl. So I make it a medium size, I make like uh, all the other one. And in the meantime, you know what, I put my, uh, I start to cook my oil. Let me do something, you see, I forgot something. So let me put some extra oil because of course this is the one I used this morning. So I'm gonna pour some extra oil. It's better if you can almost cover your um, rice bowl. So the oil is getting warm. I show you how much I do have inside. Can you guys see? It's like half, half of the C. So you see this one is F, uh, F4. So okay. So my oil is boiling, it's getting warm. So I'm cleaning my hands. So we go back to the bowl. Here we go. I made my bowl. Can you see the bowl? So, here's my bowl. Of course, inside the arancini, there is a tender heart of mozzarella cheese. And by the way, you can also make them white with ham and peas. You can, you can, you, you can use whatever you want, but this is the original one. So, inside this meatball, you go inside with the fingers like this, you make a hole, you take some of the mozzarella cheese that you cut in little pieces and you squeeze it inside your bowl. If you need more rice, you put on top of it. Here we go. And you close the mozzarella inside. So it's basically, it's a bowl with a surprise. There is a tender mozzarella heart and you make a little bowl like this one. This is the fun part, you see, it's messy all around. So, you remember we made this uh, little, I don't even know how to call it in English, it's like a cream, it's just a flour and warm water, no salt, nothing whatsoever. You take your bowl, and this is the secret actually, they will make the bread stick when it cooks in a hole, and you just put your little bowl, can you see it? You just roll it around, you have fun with it. You take it out, like this, and you put it in your bread, turn it around, voila, and it's gonna stick because this, uh, uh, this kind of cream that you made with flour and water is kind of, voila, can you see? As I told you, I made this morning a few already, here are six Actually, this is a big portion. I think at the end I will have only two. Remember, because there is so many ingredients and they are fried, if you are on specific diet, trying to lose weight, I know some of you are um, watching, um, I'm watching uh, this program are on a diet, I know Natalie is. So this is not really a recipe for people on a diet. It's just a recipe for people of, you know, uh, we said the next weekend uh, it's a vacation, it's a, uh, Labor Day, it would be something because this they can be made ahead and you can eat them uh, cold. So my oil is, is almost, almost boiling. Let me check. Yes, it is. Let me take this. Things. So the the water is the oil is butter and you take uh, boiling. You take your bowl and you put it in your oil. Now, guys, I wish I had a camera that you can see. So the boil is. The, the, the oil is, is now actually cooking, and it, you see it's gonna cook very, very fast, which remind me that I need to, to take a piece of paper to put my bowl, here we go. I'm gonna put them here. So, 
you turn them around like this make sure next time maybe i make a video even so you can see i should have taken a video this morning but i'll show you in a second you see it's not it's, it's still it's not brown yet you let it cook more and you can put uh, one at a time but you can put two at a time i can put three at a time here we go and if you have a bigger a bigger uh, things you can put three you turn them around and they're ready when actually they are kind of, uh, you know, you know how to fry stuff. Kind of a nice brown color, not too much, not too less. All the ingredients that are inside your arancini are uh, actually um, uh, cooked, so don't be afraid for that. They are delicious. So if you're watching, I see a lot of people that are new. This is uh, Giada Valenti. I was born and raised in Venice, Italy. But to, and I'm a singer and a songwriter, but I love to cook. And today I'm making for you some delicacy from Sicily that I call arancini, which are basically just rice bowl. And remember, it's something that you get also in the restaurant, but in Sicily, all over Sicily, you get it most of the time on the street. It's like street food. I don't know, what is a, what is a typical street food here in America, JJ, for the American? Pizza. I, pizza, <laughs> oh, yeah, for you guys it's pizza, it's true. Well, this is the pizza of the Sicilian, no, no, actually, but I mean, you can have, and they have many variations, so next time you are in, in Sicily, it's like an hot dog, JJ is saying, it's true. You know, I, I'm not much of a street food person, but I do love hot dogs, so I had st American street food because I do love hot dogs, even though I make them at home, so I make everything from scratch, you know me. So they are actually frying nice and uh, until they get a kind of a gold color, they're almost ready. And then you put them on a plate with some paper, so some of the oil will go on the paper, as I said, they are quite some calorie. I don't know, is anybody watching that is on a diet? Mamma mia, la mozzarella, eh, eh, si lo so. Eh, it's, it's, if you're on a diet, guys, and you wanna spoil on a diet, just make one. Maybe you can make one, a little one, but I know it's a lot of work. And they can also be frozen. You can froze them when they are like this, or you can froze them even after they are cooked. And then when you take them out, you put in your microwave, and they are ready. So this one is ready. I'm not going to show you the result. Here is my first arancino. Guys, can you see it over there? Yeah, the camera is kind of far. So my second one is ready too, actually. They're all ready, and I'm going to put the other inside, so you're going to see them all. Voila. And three are ready. Of course, I can smell this is the one we just made. We put it inside. Voila. Two and three. And I'm gonna show you in a second. So they are kind of, uh, as I said, super, super delicious, easy to make, but uh, they have quite some calorie. So keep that in mind. I wanna say that. I wanna also welcome and thank all the people that are on Patreon. If you guys wanna chin chin, show, uh, join me tomorrow for uh, my uh, Love Song Sunday, uh, you can do it tomorrow, 2 p.m. We are going to have a lot of love songs. Also tomorrow, last week, uh, we, of course, sang songs of Madonna. We sang songs uh, of uh, Elvis Presley because Madonna was her birthday. We'll, we'll see later. We're going to have in a second birthday an event. The last time, birthday event with our dog, then he's going also on a hiatus. Actually, he's going to be teaching his grandkids for uh, the whole winter, homeschooling, you know. So I'm going to be missing that, but of course he's going to be always with us. But anyway, we're going to see later if there is any birthday of singers so we can sing something tomorrow on Patreon. And I want to also thank all of you guys that have been liking my Facebook page and have been uh, enjoy, uh, just subscribing to my YouTube channel. And also the one of you that are listening to me that also like my YouTube channel and like the videos when you watch the video. And some of you always uh, write me comments underneath, so not on the chat while you guys are now, but also uh, on the, under the video. So the, the comments are always going to be there forever and I can read them and I can answer to you. So here is another little one that is ready. And as you can see, it doesn't make much smoke, so it's a, it's a safe recipe. Only look how much oil is gonna go in down there. Look at this one. And let me turn this one around. You see, a few minutes, and your rice bowl are ready. So you can serve them this one in different way. You can have them like this. Voila, let me switch it up. And I wanna thank, uh, actually, I always have to thank uh, my friend Wes Roberts for giving me this beautiful little 
things to, to cook. And here are my uh, rice bowl. So these are Arancini Siciliani. Look at that. They have a tender heart with the mozzarella. They're made with tomatoes, with peas, with parmesan cheese, all delicious and sweet ingredients. As I said, you can serve them uh, with tomato sauce. In Sicily, actually, sometimes they give them to, to you like in a little thing with some tomato sauce that you make aside with garlic. So it's uh, like sauce with olive oil and garlic. And you take your arancino and you pour it in. Me, uh, I decided to make it today with a little bit of green salad. So I'm going to serve JJ. Only two because, as I said, they're quite big on calories. So this is one for JJ. JJ, you want to have two or three? Two. Three! JJ wants to go for three. He tried them actually yesterday, so he knows that they're quite delicious. So JJ's gonna have three. Bon appetito, JJ. JJ, you see the end? There it is. The fork went on the floor. So JJ is gonna uh, have uh, his arancino, and I'm gonna prepare one for myself because I wanna cut it open so you guys can see the tender heart. I've been telling you about it. So here we go. One and two. I have another one for you, JJ. It's gonna be three, or it's gonna be delicious. Maybe I'm gonna have also that one later. Who knows? So, guys, so now if you take this one and you cut, they are warm, so be, be careful. And voila. And inside, as I told you, that is your tender heart. Is the mozzarella. I'm gonna give, a, I'm gonna have a bite of it, and then we're gonna have the birthday and events. I wish, guys, you were here with me. Mmm, they're kind of delicious, ladies and gentlemen. So, I hope you guys are making them. And if you want to make them, you can also do it with um, some tomato sauce. I said uh, it, it depends. And you can make it white. You can make it with zafferan, with zafferan and, um, and, and all. I mean, wherever you put in your rice, as long as the sauce that you put inside your rice is dry and then you put some mozzarella or other cheese, I've seen also some make it with other cheese, with cacio cavallo, with other melty cheese, but this, remember guys, this is the traditional one. I'm gonna leave it here so you guys can see it. And the good thing, you can also make them and eat them cold because they're always good, or otherwise you put them in the microwave and you can warm it up, warm it up, and you're gonna have them. So while, uh, um, I cannot wait to finish the program to finish my arancino and I hope you guys are going to make it. I'm going to read for you, of course, birthday and event. Last day that Doug Artline did it. Actually, it was a combination between me and Doug because we had some computer problems, so I couldn't find yours, Doug. So it's some of yours, some of mine. Anyway, it's events and birthday in history of today and uh, we are going without further ado. Uh, to do them. So here we go. August 28th, yesterday, we were not live, but there were some events that were um, worth being mentioned. And in 1831 was the first American built locomotive, the Tom Thumb was called, raced a horse down a car from Stockholm to and strokes a stagecoach company from Baltimore to Ellicott Mills. Let's history record that actually due to mechanical problem, the horses won. Nevertheless, it's like me and my computer. Technical problem. And yesterday also in 1837, pharmacist John Lee and William Pernis manufactures the Worcester sauce. Interesting fact, here we have a picture. There is something in Holland. You know, I lived in Amsterdam for five years. And in Holland, they have a, something called American filet, filet American in French. It's like a little uh, dip that you can put uh, on bread. And it's made with this sauce. And I thought when I moved to the United States, they have it here too. But you guys don't have it. But I'll, maybe I'll make it for you one day because it's really delicious and it's made with this uh, sauce. It was invented yesterday. And uh, also yesterday in 1886, the Brandham renames her drinks Pepsi Cola. He believed the drink was more than a refreshment, uh, but an healthy cola, adding digestion, getting it roots from the word dyspepsia, meaning indigestion. Coke came before Pepsi, of course, Coca-Cola was invented for but only a few years. Uh, Coca-Cola was invented in 1886 and this one in 1893. Now, well, do you guys prefer Pepsi or cola? There is always a discussion. They taste similar, but they are different. 
And in uh, 1963, important day, Martin Luther King Jr. delivers today his preach, I Have a Dream, addressing the March of Washington for Jobs and Freedom Civil Rights March at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Well, look what a beautiful pictures. I love the place in Washington. And we come to today, August 29, guys, a few days, and it's going to be September. In 708, copper coins are minted in Japan for the first time. First time they minted coins. The coins were round, round with a square hole in the center of each coin to make it easier to hold the coins on a string. How interesting is that? You could make a chain of coins and then pay with it. Funny. And today also in 1825, Portugal recognizes independence of Brazil. We have some friends in Portugal and Brazil, so Independence Day for them. And in 1882, Australia, this is a funny one, defeats England in cricket for the first time. The following day was so bad that they lost that the for following day an obituary appears in the Sporting Times addressed to the British team. Look at that, English cricket, cric uh, cricket uh, let's read, which died at the Oval on August 29, 1882. Can you believe it? Rest in peace, cricket. They never lost before. Okay, funny one. And in, in 1952, the New York, in New York premieres uh, the history-based film, The Mir Miracle of the Lady of Fatima. I haven't seen it, but of course I know everything about uh, Fatima. It's a beautiful place to, uh, to visit, actually. She's, she's a saint. And also uh, today, in 1953, Speedy Gonzalez... Uh, Warner Bros. cartoon character created by Chuck Jones and Michael Maltese, uh, Italian, of course, Looney Tunes and Mary Melody series, first debuts in The Cat Tales of Two. I always loved Speedy Gonzalez. And also today, um, Mickey Mantle, another sport event, and Ty Babe Ruth career strikeout record in 1330. That's apparently the pictures of that moment. And uh, we go to space for a second, in, where in 1965, astronauts L. Gordon Cooper Jr. and Charles Pete Convert Jr. complete 120 Earth orbits in Gemini 5. Look how happy they are, making the first time the USA set an international duration record for the manned in space in a mission. Unbelievable. In 1963, we always talk about the Beatles. Beatles today, they have the last public concert, as a pictures of, in Candlestick Park, San Francisco. And in 1997, we come close to us. We, we had, uh, was my saving, my save, saved my life during COVID-19. Today, in 1997, Mark Randolph and Reed Astin in Scott Wells, California, they started Netflix. And they started, off, of course, as an online rental business. And now, of course, they give us all kind of uh, uh, things to watch during COVID-19 and always. And uh, uh, not such a good memory, but in 2005, Hurricane Katrina uh, marks the second and third landfall as a Category 3 hurricane, devastating much of the USA Gulf Coast from Louisiana to Florida. We'll remember that day like it was yesterday. So we come here to the birthday. Two memorable mentions of yesterday because they are singers and I love them both. So in uh, yesterday, on August 28th, so 1965, singer Shania Twain, lives here in Las Vegas, was born in Aileen Regina Edwards. Uh, no, she was born as Aileen Regina Edwards, so that's her real name. Was born in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and turns today 55 years young. Happy birthday to you, Shania Twain. And August 28th, yesterday, another amazing singer, uh, Leanne Rimes, was born in Jackson's Mississippi and turns 38. I love them both, which brings us to today's birthday. A lot of birthday today, so we have to cut out some of the people. So if you want to know more, just put famous birthday on August 29. Here we go. Uh, 1899, George McRady, American actor, Martin Payton, Payton, Payton Place, was born in Providence, Rhode Island. Look at him. And in 1906, uh, Lorraine Tartle, American actress, father of the bride, and Julia was born in Pleasant Lake, Indiana. She was also in a movie with Marilyn Monroe. I remember, that's how I remember her. And in 1915, actress Ingrid Bergman, the beautiful Ingrid Bergman of many movies like Casablanca or Cactus Flowers, is born today in Stockholm, Sweden. She married, of course, Italian director, there she is, Roberto Rossellini. Uh, we, we spoke about her uh, last Thursday because she, they made together a movie called Stromboli in one of the uh, Aeolian island of Sicily. And of course, one of their kids is there with me on the picture, is Isabella Rossellini. She looks a lot like a mother and I was blessed and lucky to to meet her several times. 
And in 1916, George Montgomery, American actor, Battles of the Bulge and Hallucination, was born in Brady, Montana. I love that movie. Uh, we were talking with Jay this morning, The Battle of the Bulge. And in 1923, actor and director Richard uh, Attenborough, uh, from the movie Gandhi, Jurassic Park, and the young Winston, is born in Cambridge, England. Amazing actor. And in 1933, Ramses Sheffy, we go to Holland uh, for JJ, Dutch singer and cabaret actor, uh, is born in Neuilly-sur-Seine in France. So he was born in France and then he moved to the Netherlands. And we listened to some music this morning, very interesting. I was not familiar with that music. And in 1935, William Friedkin, American actor, Friedkin, American director and producer, the writer of The Exorcist, The French Connections with my dear friend, friend Sonny Grosso, we talked about it when it was his birthday, was born today in Chicago, Illinois. And in 1941, Robin Leach, English TV host of Lice Styles and Rich of Fame, was born in London, England. Smiley man. Almost coming to today, 1957, Jerry D. Bailey, American Racing Hall of Fame, jockey and uh, jockey, you say jockey, JJ? Jockey, yeah. jockey, of course, and broadcaster, was born in, of the Kentucky Derby, was born today in Dallas, Texas. I talk about him because I told you I have a special connection with Kentucky and I'm going to be singing at, for the Kentucky Derby next weekend, of course. I'm going to Kentucky and won't be singing on the race because there's no people allowed, but I will be somewhere else performing. I will make sure that you guys will have some more details. Maybe you can follow some of the performance. And in 1958, today, Michael Jackson uh, was uh, born, of course, is the king of pop. I don't even need to read. Uh, to read. It was born today in Gary, Indiana, gone too soon. We love you, Michael Jackson. Last birthday of today, 1986, uh, Leah Michelle uh, Sarfati, actually is uh, the rest of the family name, American actress and singer from Glee, was born today in the Bronx, New York City. Beautiful, beautiful actress, singers and girls. This concludes also the, the uh, events of today. The last time that, uh, the, that, at least for this part, for this kind of, for set, the last part, last time for August, that Doug Hardline did the birthday and event with me. You, Doug, did it for four months. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your help, help delivering all these pictures and stories and sharing also your pictures with me and with everybody of the Circle of Love. So thank you so very much. And I wish you all the best uh, homeschooling your kids, of course, but I know you're going to be with us nevertheless. Every time I'm going to be able to judge a life. So I love you, man. I see a lot of new people appearing over there. Of course, I see Emmy and William that are with us. Nancy, you're new. Where are you? New people, where are you guys watching from? Please let me know. For the guys that are new, I am Jada Valenti. I am a singer and a songwriter born and raised in Venice, Italy, of course. But I live now here in sunny Las Vegas and I'm doing uh, three times a week this Jada Life. And on Sunday, which is tomorrow, I will be singing because I'm a singer and music is in my heart. I will be singing for you love songs on my Patreon page. You can still join us. You can do it from $1 to whatever amount you want to do it. So starting on $1. And you became a member of Crowdcast. It's a lot of fun. We're going to be, actually, it's always a smaller group than social media. So I always get to talk uh, and see almost everybody that is there. So please join me there if you uh, love my music as well. Guys, I want to say I love you. I want to thank Diane also for my sisterhood uh, bracelet that I'm wearing today. And for the lovely dinner we had um, uh, today, two nights ago, actually, at your house for you and Sal. I know you've been watching me on the big TV. I see the big TV now while you're watching me. So, guys, I want to thank you all. I want to thank uh, each and every one of you. Too many to mention. I see also Michelle Johnson. She was my guest. Thank you so very much for uh, being always with me, Michelle. You are one of the most amazing singers here in Las Vegas, and I adore you. And uh, do you see, have you seen JJ? Somebody that um, we've seen many, I don't know, too many people. JJ said, We are a lot of us. So, guys, if you have missed this episode of any episode of the Jada Live and you want to watch it again, since next week I'm not going to be live for one week, it's going to be wow. Since March is going to be the first time I'm going to have one week vacation, but I, I will be working hard, but on different things. You can always go on jada.live and you can watch all the um, the videos on repeat of my recipe, uh, of the, the, the traveling to Italy, of the amazing interview like Michelle Johnson, the amazing people that I have interviewed in these uh, four months all together with you. Guys, I'm going to have my lunch. It's cold, but as I said, it still is delicious. I'm, I'm, we may today remember 
we made um, arancini, siciliani, with rice and um, tomato sauce. Watch it back, you're gonna love it. I see also Ro Roseanne Micheli. Roseanne Micheli, how are you doing? She's the mother, of course, of Richard, my dear friend of uh, Italian living. You know, every Thursday we do uh, the episode together, Roseanne, me and your son. I can broadcast on the page of Italian Living and every week I get to have some new people that just like me love Italy and every and Richard and you Rose and that we just are so proud of our Italian heritage and we love anything and everything that comes from Italy. Like this beautiful, can you say the food is beautiful? It's delicious, um, arancino. I'm gonna be having my lunch, I'm gonna drink in my sbagliato the cocktail we made today with Prosecco from Bosco del Merlo. Sbagliato means wrong, a mistake, because apparently it was made by mistake, but everybody liked it, so they keep making it. You know what? I'm going to put my air orange inside, so it's going to taste even better. I raise my glass. Guys, I love you. And I'm going to see you next month, tomorrow actually, on my Patreon. So tomorrow, 2 p.m., on Patreon for Love Son, and with the Jada Life, I'm going to see you a week from tomorrow. Chin chin, buon appetito and I love you. Danke schön, dear old Danke schön. Thank you for seeing me again. Though I'm here in my solitude, I know you are there and in my heart I smile again. And so I sing here in my solitude, waiting to see you, same time, same place, and I can't wait to say again. Danke schön, danke schön, danke schön, dear all our fiddles. See you tomorrow. A domani.